Hi, I'm Andy Hake with InsulWise here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, we were called out to this home in the Wexford area because the homeowner had a mold issue on the underside of their attic deck, as you can see behind me. This is all mold, and it had developed here over the years, and it came in primarily once they had a uh, ridge vent installed, and this home does not have soffit vents. And what can sometimes happen when you do that is that the ridge vent can have the effect of uh, depressurizing the attic, which pulls warm, moist air up from inside the house during the winter time. And when that moist air hits the underside of the roof deck, when it's cold outside, that moisture condenses on it, it becomes wet, um, it makes the wood wet, and very soon after that, you get a mold bloom. So, um, what we're going to do here today is two things to fix this problem. Number one, with mold, the most critical thing is that you address the source of the moisture. Because if you don't take care of that, um, in my opinion, you shouldn't show up in the first place. So, it's, it's a rainy day out, and you can see the underside of the roof deck is actually uh, quite dry right now. So the moisture is not coming through the shingles. The roof is actually in good shape. So we know that the moisture is coming from the underside um, through little hidden penetrations in the attic floor. And I'll show you one here in just a moment. But what we're going to do is seal these hidden penetrations that we call air leaks. We're going to seal them with foam. And what that's going to do is separate the attic from the living space below. Because right now the um, air actually communicates back and forth um, even when the attic door is closed and we're going to eliminate that and that is going to actually air seal um, or I should say um, that's going to dry the attic out. So a lot of people will say, you know, they'll look at an attic like this and say, what do you mean air leaks? Um, where do these things exist? So they are hidden under the insulation and they show up in places like plumbing pipes and around bathroom fans and wire holes and over top of walls. And right here we've got a classic example of an air leak above a top plate. So I'm going to pull this fiberglass bat up and what we're going to see under it is <clears throat> a top plate. You can see that here. And what this is, is this is a 2x4. Is this visible, Pat? It's a 2x4 over top of a wall and what happens is that over time the 2x4 itself dries and it shrinks and it opens up a gap and that gap allows air in the um, winter time that's warm from the furnace to escape up into the attic and it takes with it the moisture that's in the house. Um, you know a lot of furnaces these days will have a humidifier on them and it's pumping moisture into the air in real time and that moisture then migrates to the attic. Um, and with this you see the the gap on both sides of this plate um, and then the two wire holes here. And one of the ways that we know that there is air escaping up through these leaks are these black marks that are right here in the fiberglass. So what happens is that as the warm air escapes upward through the house, the dust that's in that air gets trapped in the fiberglass and the fiberglass acts like a filter, um, just like the filter in your furnace. So what we're going to do is methodically go through and find all of the penetrations beneath the fiberglass and then we seal them with foam. You just run a bead like this right over top of these leaks. Get down into the holes here and then once this is done it will eliminate the air transfer from inside the house to the attic. Um, that's going to dry the attic out. And after we're done air sealing the attic deck, what we're going to do is spray a mold killer on the roof deck itself. The mold killer um, is also going to make the mold stains go away. Um, so once that's done, uh, we'll let the attic dry out for about a week and then come back and, and re-insulate everything um, after that. And the homeowners will then, going forward, have a... Um, no moisture problems in the attic, no mold problems in the attic, um, and the attic is also going to be air sealed and re-insulated, so the home's going to be much more comfortable as well as energy efficient going forward. So if you have um, a mold problem in your attic in the Pittsburgh area, please call us, InsulWise Energy and Comfort Solutions, 
we can come out and take a look at your place for you um, and uh, get that figured out and solve it. Thanks very much. I'm Andy Haig.